Hey everybody, Dragon Hawk Guy here with another off-season update for all the 12s out there in Seahawks Nation. Today we're talking about day number three of the 2020 NFL Draft. Before we get started, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video, and be sure to hit the notification button so you know the very moment I post any video to this channel. Also be sure to click right up here, that'll be the playlist for all of my 2020 Seahawks NFL Draft videos all on one playlist so you can watch them all in one sitting. Day number three of the 2020 NFL Draft constitutes rounds four through seven, I think I'm doing that right, four through seven of the NFL Draft. Seahawks drafted five players on day three. Let's get started talking about the first one of those. With their first pick on day three of the 2020 NFL Draft, the Seahawks at pick number 27, round number four, chose tight end Colby Parkinson out of Stanford. This is a really, really big target for Russell Wilson. Colby Parkinson stands six foot seven, 252 pounds, has 33 and a quarter inch arms, and has nine and five eighths inches hands. So obviously Russell Wilson has much bigger hands, but still six foot seven, nine and a half inch hand, or nine and five eighths inches hands. Colby Parkinson has some really interesting combine numbers. He's got pretty good speed for a guy of his size. He ran a 4.7740 yard dash. He has a 32 and a half inch vertical, had a 109 inch broad jump, and ran the 20 yard shuttle in 4.46 seconds. This is a guy that has some speed, he has some hops, he has some athleticism. There was some talk on the broadcast about, about how the Seahawks might want him to put on a little bit of weight in order to be able to get some push on run plays so he can actually be able to push down on defensive ends and linebackers as he's blocking on running plays. That way he's there on all three downs, so he's not just there as a passing threat. Personally, I think he's going to probably put out another 5 to 10 pounds of muscle anyway, just in the normal course of being in an NFL locker room. So I don't think his lack of weight will be an issue. He's already 255 pounds. I, yeah, I don't think, unless he's going up against a 320-pounder on the defensive line, I don't think his weight, undersized weight, is going to be an issue. What is interesting is if you look at his strengths and weaknesses on his NFL profile page, his strengths are listed as height and length create matchup issues in the red area. Clearly at six foot seven, yes, absolutely. Strides into routes like a big receiver. Capable attacking all three levels effectively. Good focus to make the challenging catch. And my personal assessment after watching his highlight package, he has good hands, he's got good soft hands, knows how to go and get the ball. As for his weaknesses, it is sort of interesting, the first thing that's listed here on his profile page, it says, carries thin limbs on a lean frame. When I look at him, I don't think he has thin limbs on a thin frame, but clearly that's a nice way of saying he needs to put on more muscle or more weight so that he can survive being an NFL tight end. Also, doesn't do much with his block once he gets it centered, and he allowed safeties to body and annoy him at times. So clearly that is one last knock on his undersizedness or relative undersizedness. I don't know how anyone thinks he's undersized at six foot seven and 250 some odd pounds, but looks like he'll be hitting the weight room. So one thing that is for sure, Parkinson adds another huge target for Russell Wilson to hit at tight end. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Will Disley can also be healthy next year beyond the first four or five games like he has been his first two seasons in the NFL. So just imagine having Jacob Hollister's sure hands underneath and Will Disley and Kobe Parkinson all fighting it out to do those two and three tight end sets that Pete Carroll likes doing and Russell Wilson likes the option of doing those RPOs and hitting the tight end for a touchdown. Second up on day three with the 38th pick of the fourth round. How we have 38 picks in the fourth round is beyond me. But with the 38th pick in the fourth round, the Seahawks took DJ, that's D-E-E-J-A-Y, DJ, all spelled out, DJ Dallas, running back out of the University of Miami. DJ Dallas is an interesting pick as a running back. He's relatively short at 5'10 and 217 pounds. He only has a 4.58 40-yard dash, but he's really athletic, 33 and a half inch vertical, 119-inch broad jump, 
and he has a 20-yard shuffle of 4.32. If you watch his highlights, he's really interesting to watch. He's got a good second burst once he hits the second layer. He's really tough to come down, and he has a couple of punt returns for a touchdown, so he's really versatile. He can return punts. Obviously, he can also return kickoffs if he can return punts. But this is a guy that has a high motor. He, he's probably not the most talented back in the draft, but he is a guy that has some skill. NFL.com lists that he played both wide receiver and running back at Miami. He does a nice job of running tacklers into blocks with the Seahawks offensive line. That is an absolute necessity, so that is a good skill to have. It says he's slippery to tackle and hard to get down. Also another good thing with the Seahawks offensive line. However, his weaknesses are listed as below average setting up open field tacklers on the levels to miss. And here's the one that might get Pete Carroll's blood boiling a little bit. Needs better tuck away ball security. We all know how much Pete Carroll hates fumbles. Who knows if Chris Carson is going to be healthy to start training camp in July. Hopefully we have training camp in July, but who knows if, if everyone's going to be healthy to start training camp. So having DJ Dallas there to start training camp as someone who can shoulder the load or help shoulder the load for the Seahawks is a great pick in the fourth round. As for the final three picks of the 2020 draft, the Seahawks drafted in the fifth round, defensive end Alton Robinson in the sixth round, wide receiver Freddie Swain, and in the seventh round, with their last pick, with the 251st pick, the Seahawks drafted wide receiver Steven Sullivan. So all in all, the Seahawks had a very productive 2020 NFL draft, picking up eight players over the seven rounds, over the three days, and addressed a lot of glaring needs that we had coming out of last season and going into next season, filling in a lot of gaps on the roster and strengthening the trenches on both sides of the ball, which is an absolute necessity after what, what happened in 2019. So just to recap, first round Seahawks drafted linebacker Jordan Brooks. Second round Seahawks drafted defensive end Daryl Taylor. Third round Seahawks drafted right guard Damian Lewis. Fourth round we picked Colby Parkinson tight end. Also the fourth round picked up running back DJ Dallas. Fifth end defensive end Alton Robinson. Sixth round wide receiver Freddie Swain. And finally seventh round Wide receiver, Steven Sullivan. Only time will tell how many of these guys actually work out. Not included in the draft day excitement is all of the undrafted rookie free agents that the Seahawks are experts at citing. Who knows whether the next Doug Baldwin is going to come out of this year's undrafted rookie free agent class, but for that, we'll have to wait until later. So in the comments section down below, let me know what you guys thought of this year's 2020 NFL Draft and the haul that the Seahawks got. Did we draft just for need or did we draft for the best available players? Do you guys think we got a good haul on this year's draft and should we have been drafting differently or do you like the draft strategy the Seahawks did this year? Let me know in the comments section down below. I've been Dragon Hot Guy. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the playlist button, just hit all the buttons and I'll do my best to bring you all the Seahawks news that I can possibly find. I've been Dragon Hot Guy. I'll see you later.